Well, hello there. Tom Green coming back at you with some goodness. And today's goodness involves the addition of audio to the new version of Animate, Animate 3.0, which was released about two weeks ago. And what I thought I'd do is just give you a quick look at how the files are created and how to play an audio file in the background without having to write a ton of code, which is great. So let's get started. So what I've got here is a composition with a flock of birds. The birds are going to come flying out of the corn. So if I do this, you can see here they come. And the birds are a symbol with the wings flapping and all that stuff. And what I'd like to do is have a wing flapping sound, sort of like startled birds coming out of the corn. Audio always adds that little bit of uh, extra bit of reality to it. I always tell people it seals the deal if, and we tend to overlook it. So how do we get an audio file in here? Well, the first thing we want to do is actually get the audio file into a format that can be read by HTML5. So we need MP3 and OGG versions of the file. If you are a Creative Cloud user, you already have access to Audition. And Audition is a great little app for quickly creating the files that we need. So what I've got here is a bird bird flapping sound. So it sounds like a flock of birds flying out of a wherever. And what I need are the MP3 and OGG versions of it. So if I go to File, Save As, I can just select in the format MP3 audio. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I don't need it to be 48 kilohertz. 16-bit uh, stereo. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to ch knock this back to about 22050. I'm going to knock it back to mono. It's it's a, it's a short sound, so why do I need all that? I might uh, up the bits just a little bit and click OK. And right here, include markers and other metadata. If you have this selected, you're going to get a metadata file or an XMP file. I'm just going to deselect it. So there we go. Click OK. And it's going to tell you it's a lossy format. Yes, I got that. Thank you. Click yes. Done. And now what I want to do is create the OGG version. So same process, save as, MP3 audio. This time we're going to choose ZIF OGG. And you notice it's picked up all the settings from the MP3 because the settings tend to move. I'm going to deselect the uh, markers and metadata. Don't need it. And I'll just click OK, yes, and we are done. OK, so, so let's uh, kick out of Audition. And we're back in Animate. So how do we get the audio file into Animate? Well, there's a quick way of doing it. What you do is you create a media folder. So just create a new folder here, and we'll call it Media. And you can actually save your files to this folder inside of Animate. Now, there's the MP3 and the OGG that we created earlier. So we'll just throw that in the media folder. There we go. And we can go back to animate and bring the file back up. There we go. And all I need to do now is just bring the file in. So import, select both of them, click open, bubbing, and if I twirl down audio, there it is. And you can see there's the audio file right there. Now, I can't get it to play right now because inside the playback commands, I need to tell it to play. So I'm just going to select play. And you can see it's four seconds. Now, a couple of the things that you want to be aware of. Uh, first off, if I select the uh, audio file, you notice that I got a whole bunch of audio properties. So I can autoplay it. I can loop it. Uh, I can uh, fade it in. Notice it's got keyframes besides, so I can do that. Uh, here, I can uh, turn the file on or off up in the properties. But I just want to leave it where it is. But one thing I do want to do is center the stage, and that is new to uh, Animate 3.0 as well. So if I click select center stage by selecting the stage element, the stage will be centered in the browser. And I can choose to center it horizontally, vertically, or even stick it right in the middle of the uh, viewport. So let's take a look and see if it works. And there's the centering, there's the audio, and it works beautifully. So there you go, there's adding 
audio files to edge animate there's a lot more to it that you can do but this should get you going with the background sound or whatever don't go crazy with it they do tend to add to the bandwidth but this is a huge addition because there's no code that you really have to write to add audio to animate